Hello and welcome back to another What I Ate in a Day. Today, I'm sharing with you guys what I eat. So some healthy inspiration to give you guys some healthy meal ideas that are not only good for you, but obviously taste delicious. You guys saw I had my morning coffee this morning. I just drank an organic decaf dark roast. I have it black, I have lots of water, I hydrate with Element, which is sponsoring today's video, so thank you to Element, and we're gonna get into that shortly. And then of course, I have my Chia water. This is something that I've been doing for the last little while, maybe since the last time you saw one of these videos, and I really love it in the morning. It's just two tablespoons of chia seeds in some water, and I start my day with that before any of my breakfast. And with that being said, let's go ahead and see what I have for breakfast. So for breakfast, I've been making this pepper and onion kind of scramble omelet. It depends, sometimes it breaks, sometimes it's an omelet. So I use an egg and then some egg whites just to boost the protein of it. Some days I do more eggs, less egg whites. Today I'm doing a bunch of egg whites and just one egg, just because I need all of that protein. And then I'm gonna add in some plant-based feta and have some avocado on the side, but I really find using the pepper and onions makes it so delicious. And with the freezer, it A, cooks faster, and B, it's just easy because it's all chopped up. Avocado, I put some Malden salt on it and then my omelet. I really like it when it gets like nice and brown and cooked. Um, that's also because of the peppers. And then I have some Rainier, or I think they're called Skylar actually, Skylar cherries. These are my favorite cherries and they're in season right now. So we got some at Costco. So before we hop into lunch, I wanted to talk to you guys about Element, which if you're new to my channel, it is my ride or die. It is my go-to electrolyte drink mix that I've been using for well over a year now. Every single day, no matter where I go, there are some in my purse, in the car, when I travel. I don't go a day without Element, and it has made such a game changer in my life, and I know so many of you have tried it after my recommendations, and it's changed your life too. So many times, a lot of things that you might be dealing with can be a cause of electrolyte imbalance. Whether that's muscle tightness or cramping, fatigue, headaches, being lethargic, feeling like that 3 p.m. kind of slump, being outside a lot, even when you're working out a lot and eating like a whole foods diet where you're getting lots of healthy things in them, electrolyte imbalance is still important and I find there is a night and day difference when I add this in. I love that it comes in these convenient little packets. I just put some in my water. You guys saw me put some in my water this morning. I start my day with one packet of Element and then throughout the day, I normally have a second one. I have also been adding in the chocolate one into my chocolate smoothies. <gasps> I mean, the chocolate's also really good in your morning coffee. I will say that too, that's another little tip and hack. But the chocolate salt, in your smoothie, it adds that saltiness with the chocolate. Oh, you need to try. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been raving about this tip for the last couple weeks because it's so delicious. But like I said, I love Element and it was such a big difference. I'm going to leave my link here for you guys to get a free sample pack with your order. And they were so kind. They've made this link available to both new and returning customers. So even if you've gotten you know, some from my link in the past, you can still use this link as a returning customer to get a free sample pack with every order. My favorite are the citrus, the raspberry, and honestly, the chocolate. They also have a seasonal mint chocolate one, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. When that one comes back, hopefully, fingers crossed. This is my message to Element to bring it back. But 
like I said, one of the ride or dies and I have bought this for so long and it's when they offered to sponsor me, I was like, hell yes, I buy you all the time, I love you and the ingredients are super clean. It's paleo, it's keto, there's no dodgy ingredients, vegan friendly, no sugar and if you are keto, there's only one gram of carb per serving so if that matters to you and you count carbs, just know there's only one. Make sure you put it with a bunch of water. I like to put the large mason jar for one of them or half a packet for a small glass of water, depending on how kind of salty you like it. But like I said, a game changer. My fiance loves it. My friends love it. My friends use my own link and they're like, oh my God, Liv, it's so good. So try them out. Let me know which one your favorite flavor is. And I will also say they have amazing customer service. So if for any reason you don't like it, you just let them know and they give you your money back, which is amazing. You don't even have to return it or send it back, which is crazy, but I already know you're gonna love it. I think it's because they know you're gonna love it, but either way, for any reason you don't, um, you can get your money back as well. So there is no harm. Try out Element, let me know which one is your favorite and let's go ahead and make some lunch. So now it is time for lunch. It is one, almost one o'clock. I'm gonna make this spicy tuna sushi roll bowl thing. If you like my salmon maki bowl, you'll like this. It's just like kind of different, but similar components, but just easier, honestly quicker. Still good, but just different because we're using tuna. You can definitely use raw tuna here if you have access to sashimi grade. Thing is sashimi grade tuna can be really hard to find. Um, I have to go to a specialty place and I don't have that right now. I just have like canned tuna. So we're going to use canned tuna today, but you can use raw sashimi tuna if you find it. Just so you know, the raw tuna that you might see at your normal grocery store isn't necessarily sashimi grade. If it doesn't say sashimi grade, do not eat it raw. <laughs> okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and get out everything we need. All right, so this is everything we're going to need. I got cucumber, the other half, half, half the avocado from breakfast, some green onion. This is the tuna I like to use. I always like to get wild tuna with no salt added. Wild is important um, because it's better than farmed, just obviously wild better than farmed. Then we have some cauliflower rice that I'm gonna heat up, some seaweed sheets. You can also use the small ones. I just have the big ones seaweed seasoning, and then to our tuna to make like it almost like a spicy mayo. I have chili sauce, tamari, and some plant-based clean mayo. This is my lunch bowl. We have lots of protein with the tuna, healthy fats, fiber with the cucumber, cauliflower rice, and of course our little seaweed pieces that taste good. And you can like use it to either pick up the tuna and the rice or just mix it all together, whatever you like. But either way, it's so easy to make and so tasty. It has been a busy afternoon. I almost forgot to show you the smoothie I just made in between work. But luckily, I did not forget. I forgot to show you making it, but I did not forget to show you. So this is a chocolate smoothie I added. Of course, where is it? Give me a sec. I added some of the chocolate salt element to it. This changed my chocolate smoothie game. Sometimes if I'm making like a new recipe for lunch, I don't always know like how long it's going to fill me for. So like next time I know to like add in more cauliflower rice or something else to it, um, it's like, well, oh, 3.30ish now, so I'm gonna have this smoothie and this you for dinner, but what is in here is almond milk. I make my own almond milk using my almond cow. Um, sometimes I'll do cashew, sometimes I'll do seed milk, kind of whatever nut or seed I have on hand. Um, a little bit of nut butter, ice, tiny bit of banana, protein powder, cacao, maca, the sea salt, 
and that's it. And then I blend it up. Super yummy. And I like mine like thick and creamy too. Mm. All right, so it's time to make dinner. The oven is preheated. We are going to be making chicken shawarma bowls with like a cucumber tomato salad. It's really yummy. I don't think I've showed this shawarma before because I was sharing it on my Instagram last week and I was trying to link the recipe and I was like, I've never filmed it before, but it's one of my favorite ways to make chicken. So that is what we are going to do. And side note, if you're not following me on Instagram, this is your invitation to, because I post lots of recipes over there, whether it's before it comes to YouTube or things that don't come to YouTube, plus tips, health stuff, guidance for wealth and for wellness and for all of the things, so follow me over there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get cooking. So I have some chicken I've cut up to use for the chicken shawarma. I like to use thighs, but you can also use breasts. Tahini, which we're gonna make a dressing out of. I'm gonna roast some potatoes, the lemon I actually need for the sauce, pickled onions, and then a little baby cucumber and some tomato to make like a little salad. But the first thing we have to do is get our sweet potatoes into the oven so they can get cooking because they take the longest. With my sweet potatoes, I like to just spray them with a little avocado oil. And then I add in some garlic powder. And we're gonna add in some salt as well. And I like to make a big tray like this, and then I have leftovers either for me or my fiance tomorrow. So I'm gonna use this grind to a salt. It has a couple other things other than salt that just kind of taste good. What else is in it? It is sea salt, mustard, celery seed, onion, chili peppers, and black pepper. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. So this is a spice blend that I use for the chicken shawarma. It is onion powder, cumin, turmeric, uh, cinnamon, and salt. That's it. Um, if I have cardamom, I'll add cardamom. Actually, maybe I should add a little bit of garlic. I'll add a little bit of garlic. This is my spice. This is my spice drawer. A little bit of garlic, there we go. And that's it. We're gonna toss this into the chicken, let the chicken sit for a bit while the potatoes cook a bit more before I start cooking the chicken. And then I also took up the sumac for finishing spice after. Potatoes are out of the oven. They look magic. Chicken is cooked. Then we have our pickled onions to put on top. Ooh, it gets brighter over here. Tomato and cucumber and tahini. I'll show you my finished bowl. Also, what I will say about these pickled onions, I make them myself. They are so easy to make. It's just half a cup of apple cider vinegar, one red onion, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt and a tablespoon of either coconut sugar, date sugar, even if you want to use monk fruit, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that link down below. So this is the finished bowl. We have sweet potato, the chicken, the tomato cucumber, pickled onions, and tahini dressing. And 
for dessert, I'm having one of my brownies that I made in my last video, so I will link that down below with some dairy-free gelato, just like a little yummy, sweet something. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Element down below, and I'm also going to leave my last What I Ate in Day here on the screen so you can get lots more healthy recipes and healthy meal inspiration.